You ready? <laughs> All right, this is Steve Flash Julian from rapreviews.com, and I'm here with my man Koshy Dills, who just got through rocking the set at Slowdown in yes. Omaha, Nebraska. Coach, thanks for coming out. How are you feeling about Noah? How do you oh, like Oh, man, it's fucking crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nuts right now. It yeah. was a great show. After all the shows we did, they were so small. So this is like a nice large, you know, we're working for this one. So it's going to be good because we got a bunch of good shows coming up in Colorado. And, you know, once you go west, it starts getting better, I think. So. Yeah, it's all part of the Give Me Five Tour. You're hashtagging yes. that heavy on Twitter right now. Yeah, yeah, man. Bills. Try, every every hashtag is nickel, so give me five, give me five, you know, any, you know, we're counting it, and just kind of create awareness about the tour and the foundation to the and so it's really shit, you know, so, that's what it is. How'd you like the show? Oh, I enjoyed it, it's great. You got the energy going, the, the crowd was, you know, they were hanging back, they were they were waiting, and you got into that freestyle song, you're like, I need everybody to fill in the rows right in the front, you brought, you walked down the crowd and brought them all in. Yeah, you know, a, a lot of people don't know how to act at shows, you know, like, com common conduct, you know, it's the same thing as, like, you know, wearing a tuxedo to a wedding or a suit, you know, you come up in a pair of shorts and like, and everyone's like, what do you do? You, know, you, gotta, you gotta teach them, you know what I'm saying, how to act at a show, you know, for them to properly enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? Personally, I don't want to get dressed up, but once you get dressed up, to go to like a, a yeah. you know, social, then you're like, oh man, you feel part of, you know what I mean? You know, tennis is really big as far as the indie apps, so a lot of people came out to see them, and I mean, they're blowing up the ball like this, so, um, and you know, it's really good people, so I'm just happy to be associated with them, hopefully doing some work with them, you know, and we'll be at South by Southwest, and you know, the constant, the constant grind on the up, upswing. Now, you're not afraid to represent your Jewish heritage in rap. A lot of MCs that are Jewish or have Jewish heritage, they kind of hold back a lot. What, what was your conscious decision to, to make that part of the forefront of the um, music? Well, you know, for a long time I didn't want to, um, and uh, now apparently it's like, you know, I just, when I came out my first record in 05, you know, Mondi produced it, yeah. and I was just like, yo, kosher deals. I was kosher deals, and I was KD Flow, and I was battling, I mean, I battled everyone from Technique to, you know, Pack of Them, Boys and Pan were battling in the early 2000s, and now, you know, uh, you know, it's kosher deals, you know what I'm saying, and just, psh, like, pow, you know? And for me, it was like, I like very, I like an instant reaction. A very, uh, what's the word called, um, you know? Dynamic. You want, you want no, a dynamic I just want to like, boom, you walk in, like, bam, <laughs> like, like, I don't want to like work up to that moment. I'm like, kosher deals. Everyone's like, well, you know, people want to check me out just because of my name. This is a good name. Yeah, it is. Yeah, very good. It's something a little different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, now, has it ever caused any conflict? Like, oh, like yeah. you never had a guy like, like come up and say, Palestine, what? And get in your face. Yeah, yeah, all the time. <laughs> all the time. But I mean, you know. It has nothing to do with me. It's like, you know, right. It's not your war. You're not over there fighting. You know? No, but I'm totally pro. You know, pro Israel, Israeli. So I don't like. I don't care. But everyone's like, oh my god, how could you do that? I'm like, well, I'm, that's where I'm from. You know, so I, I rep what I rap. Just like you would rap Omaha, and if Lincoln, Nebraska started, you know, dropping bombs in Omaha, you'd be like, oh, fuck you, Lincoln. You know what I mean? So, but like, yo, I'm friends with Matt Plus same kids, so it's like, so good. Like, Mozzie's my homie. You know what I mean? It's, you know, really, and, and that's like a hard working, you know, New York guy. We still rock together, and you know, but a lot of people, um, yeah, it's different. Yeah, that is. Not gonna win everybody over. Let's get back to the show because you, yeah. you, you did a great show tonight yeah. and, and you did the freestyle where, where you brought everybody up to the stage and had their foot stuff out on. You got a crunch out there, you, you got somebody's, you know, handcuffs. Yeah, you got a little wild. freestyle about the girl with the cuffs, you know. Yeah. Is that, is that right. typical for your sets? Do you usually do the freestyle? If you're yeah, I do. Freestyle is always part of my show. Uh, but, you know, I never know what's going to be brought up on stage. I mean, you know, I could always count on me putting my Blackberry up there because I always have it in my hand. Well, what's the craziest thing somebody's brought up that just blew your mind? When they put I mean, like, we've been in like Traverse City, Michigan, where someone like put like straight up like a knife, like a straight up switchblade, like stabbed it on the floor. And he was belligerent and drunk, and I was like, oh, so that was, you know, tampon we just wanted. Kids show. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, tampon at a kid show. That was weird. Uh, some of the puberty. I mean, it's like. I was like with the knife thing, he's like, you never know, some people are crazy drunk and if they're like, you know, catch, you know, people crazy shit's happened at shows before, you know what I mean, and uh, I think in Lexington, Kentucky too, like something happened at a Miles Yahoo show, a dude had a knife and he got kicked out and something like, there was like a knife fight or something, it was wild, you know, it was a Miles Yahoo show, you know what I mean, I expect it to happen maybe some of my shows, but now, you know, so you never know, man, someone comes in with the wrong day, doesn't matter what show they're at, or, 
Yeah, well, the worst brawl I ever saw was at an Ugly Kid Show concert. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Ugly Kid Show. Yeah. You ever performed in Omaha before? Uh, yeah, man. I mean, I played here with Modest Yahoo. I played uh, The Waiting Room with, with that Murray show in 08. And then um, I just, any, any, and then I played um, another show at a local bar. And there's some other local dudes out here that I've rocked out with before. So, um, offhand, like my boys MC Pitkin and Pat Main come out here pretty often. And they they uh, link up out here. So, um, but it's really cool to be out here. You know, there's a lot of people in there that know who I was from before shows here before, and yep. that's what it's all about. You know, people coming back. You know, hopefully they like it. Yeah, and you like to rip Jersey too. You always remind people you're from Jersey. So, yeah, do you ever get the Jersey Shore jokes when you do the shows? Well, I like love people? Jersey Shore. Jokes, <laughs> and that's why my parents moved. So, like, why not rep it? Like, you know, anyone who thinks, honestly, me, anyone who thinks like, oh, you're repping something wrong if you're in Israel, like, why would you do that? Like, I'm the only one that's doing it, so I have nothing to fear. And I'm probably the only one who's repping Jersey, like I do it too. So, there's a lot of people rep Jersey, Pace One, Tame, you know what I mean? But oh, like, Redman, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's plenty. I mean, Jersey scene is dope, and I'm happy to like be a good representation of some fresh. Fresh stuff out here. So, so who do you like on Jersey Shore? Like, who's your favorite out of all the cast? <laughs> Munchkin. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the situation. Nah. I like Pauly D. <laughs> He's like, I like Pauly D. He's cool. Yeah, yeah man. They're, they're killing it, man. They definitely pimped it out, making some money. So how are the albums doing right now? How's Beverly Hills doing? How's Beverly Hills doing great. I got a new album coming out with Ashuko and Fonte. Uh, called Gina in the Garage Sale, some of the stuff you heard tonight. And um, that I did a video for all these years, and it's getting pushed out, you know, to all the vlogs and stuff. And, and I'm just, to, you know, I like to come to the cities, you know, to be with everybody, you know, because you, you get so much stuff, you know, not many people take the time to come through and, and do it. Like, you know, so I'm happy to be that person, that representative of, the, of what, you know, coming out. And during the show, you mentioned working with RZA. What, what was that like oh, getting I got down out. with the founder of the Wu Tang? How'd that feel? I mean, I feel like you figure out what feels that awesome <laughs> and more. Say that his crib, rocked out with him. Cool G Rap, we did a song together and stuff. And just sitting on it, I don't know. I haven't talked to Rizzo's in China making movies right now, so. But it's got to be a little intimidating when you're like the newer Jack on the scene and those guys. Oh, that, honestly, it was one of the best verses I ever wrote. I wrote it in like 15 minutes. I was just in the song and it was in the middle of the night. I never go to the studio at 4 in the morning. I read it all night. And, uh, you know, he brought me on tour and stuff. And, you know, what's up, man? So. It was great. I mean, I'm really a big fan of Homeboy Salmon. That's one of my friends. Uh, MC Large is on my album, um, who's like totally different. Mm -hmm. um, Have you done anything with Murs? No. It's... No can do. It's, it's really dope. I like him as a new new dude. And he just, you know, I'm like, I'm trying to listen to so much different stuff. Uh, like, you know, I just really support my friends, you know? I'm helping produce, like, this dude, MC Big Ben, and I'm like really excited to hear their stuff. Uh -huh. because uh, and, and um, but you know, there's like a really, I haven't heard really, really awesome guys. I just went to the Carnage release show in, in Minneapolis, and Carnage was awesome. Um, it's good, easy. So, like, a lot of people that are in our scene, you know, like uh, Dark Time Sunshine is really dope. Andre Osborne, I really like his stuff, is really dark, and I like it. I like the ASAP Rock a lot when I was on tour with him. I just right really listen to ASAP and OA, and you know, I like Merce too. He had a song Road Warrior, and me and him are on best of terms, but like, I like his music a lot, and you know, it's just. Road, he has, he's a road warrior, you know, he goes on tour non-stop, and that's inspiring to me. I mean, <clears throat> it's a formula that works, you know. Mm -hmm. I like listening to Slug, mm -hmm. because he told like, he's a guy, you know, we, we hear stories about him, like, I bought a tape from him for five bucks ten years ago. I don't have to say Omaha, but what's your favorite city so far on, on the five tour? What, what did you like most? Uh, on the Give Me Five tour so far, this has been the best show. This right on. Is. But, I mean, we really like Minneapolis. Like, it was just rocking for the kids. There's yep. no alcohol and nothing like that. Yep. And, uh, you know, I played Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? So, I like, we did a video uh, premiere there. And, uh, you know, only only shown at the party with Jesse Abraham. So, that was awesome. And in Maine, I got to give up to my boat to Maine College. I was there. Actually, I still used to stage dive there for about an hour and a half. At Kosha Dills, K-O-S-H-A-D-I-L-L-Z, -L -L uh, Twitter.com slash Kosha Dills. Um, MySpace is Kosha Dills. KoshaDills.com, Facebook. Um, I just added you today. L-I-S-T-N, dot T-O slash Kosha Dills. It's a new thing. Uh, listen to, so it goes right to my fan page. Um, and KoshaDillsWorld.com goes to me. And I'd uh, like to say YouTube.com slash Kosha Dills. And I'm, we're doing a doc, so you can catch a trailer at YouTube.com slash Kosha Dills. Uh, the New York Love Song is producing it, and it's also like so important. We are on this road together, and um, 
feel like shout out Shep Speed, shout out Super Good Music, Brandon Dorsky, um, you know, be at South by Southwest, you guys are interested to see me play, come to South by, you know, say hi, and, and just drop a line, you know, it means a lot to us, you know. West. Colorado, yeah, I got a bunch of shows with Evidence, with Sean and Dell. And now we're playing with like microphone militants, like a bunch of logos, but they're like already to recommend Evidence. I know we have some like big shows with some big underground hip hop news. So. Are you ended up in Cal Cali? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing a show out there with Modest Yahoo and some other guys. Um, Are you familiar with Quantum Records? Yes. People Under the Stairs? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah those, those guys are one of my favorites. Uh, Tyrix, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yep. Love Tyrix, yes, Tyrix, sir. Tyrix. Cool. I'm going to go in there. Sell some CDs, do what I do. You know what I mean? Uh, if you want to buy anything, come to my website. For sure. Me money, I'll take it. For sure. And uh, Tipitinas Foundation. That's T I P I T I N A S Foundation. That's to give me five doors. So give me five. That's yeah. five cents. Ten cents. And uh, 